So yeah, <laughs> that's haunting ground, everybody. Wow, wow. I usually don't watch the subtitles because they're very long. But so I'm just gonna skip these credits because I mean, there's really not much of a point. Brandon Gay, really? Ben Judd, Brandon Gay. <laughs> I'm never gonna get over that. Brandon Gay. Well, I'm actually not that surprised because I actually know someone whose name is Jacob Gay. But still, it's kind of it's humorous. Ugh. Robot. The producer is Nikitaka. Nikitaka Kurosawa. Storyboard. Katsumi. I didn't see it. Cast. Oh yeah, that's the... Those aren't like the English actors though. Oh yeah, the people, the guy who plays Ricardo is actually in Pirates of the Caribbean, which most people don't know. But he's in Pirates of the Caribbean 1 and he's the one who says that's probably got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. I think that's the one he is, and I know he's in the fourth one. He's like that guy who, um, he's always around Barbosa in the fourth movie. What the hell was that? Is that Lorenzo? But yeah, he's in Pirates of the Caribbean 1 and 4, which is pretty cool. And I believe the guy who played as Lorenzo, the younger version, I believe he is in the new, what's it called, Hansel and Gretel movie, I believe. And the voice of Fiona, I believe she's in that movie. I don't know the name of it, but it has, what the hell is that guy's name? The guy who played in The Sixth Sense as, like, the counselor. He played in some movie back in, like, the 90s, and she was in the movie with him. Cornelia Hayes, oh, something. Greg Ellis. Moria Quark. Lex Lang. But, yeah. Just show the names. You know, I said I was gonna skip the credits, but I'm watching them. So I'm talking. Quack. Wakana... Nakarahara? Wakana Nakarahara! <laughs> Todd Dorson, Jack Simon, Robert Johnson, Nate Williams, Ray Jim Menz, David Corliss. Ugh. There's no end. Okay, I'm gonna skip it now. Capcom, all staff. I love Capcom. Whoa! Okay. We got ending A, Fortis Fortuna Juvat, which actually means fortune favors the brave in Latin. Time, I played for 5 hours, 35 minutes, 31 seconds. Dog level A, panic, I only panicked twice, I got 6% of the items. Critical Huey injury is zero? Really? Oh, I think critical Huey injuries means if he, like, dies. Enemies defeated 14. What? Does that mean I knocked them down 14 times? Oh, and the type I got top breeder. Oh, oh yeah. Top breeder is actually better than dog lover. <laughs> Stamp on a play key. Alchemia. And that's the one play key I did not use in this game. Because I could never remember how to spell it. For the life of me. But yeah. Um, what memory card am I using? That one. Oh my god, we're done. And basically, I may end up playing the game again on hard mode. That is if some people want me to, but I probably won't. But I want to show you the secret room. Because the secret room is pretty cool.
So yeah, this is the room you get when Secret room, various extras, game info, and minigame are contained within. Art gallery, examine the paintings next to the stove to view various concept art. Character gallery, examine the dolls. Music gallery, the phonograph. Movie gallery, examine the projector. Changing area, the chest. Play type list. Examine the frames. Minigame, the door. Exit the door. Oh, no, god damn it. And yeah. Doesn't look like there are any more paintings to collect, so I got all the paintings, I got all the dolls, I got all the records, and I have all the outfits. But I don't have all of the uh, cutscenes. So this is the dolls, which tells you to. Huh. <clears throat> which is Fiona number one. Well, normal outfit one. Normal outfit 2, which is the one I, I didn't use this throughout the game, but that's normal too. You can use this after you go into the water tower. Under the scalpel, which I did use for killing Ricardo, I believe. Texas Cowgirl, I didn't use this one throughout the game, but I, I like the outfit. It's just, it sucks when you use it. Like I said, the whole gun thing, it just totally destroys it. Illegal in some states. I wore this twice because of that. I'm kidding. <laughs> Fiona the Frog, which I used for some of the Ricardo part. White German Shepherd. I never used this outfit of Huey's, but I love this outfit. It's so cute. stuff toy which is adorable now okay Danielle a oh debilitus a actually that's what he looks like in normal mode but if you play in hard mode he looks like this his outfit is all dark and he just looks a million times more gross and dirty Daniela normal and then in hard mode her outfit is red which looks really weird if you ask me. I could have sworn there was a way that her outfit could be green. I, I really thought there was a way her outfit could be green, but I guess I'm just hallucinating or something. Eh. In hard mode, he looks more like Naruto and his shoes are red. Mm. Hard mode again. And Lorenzo, in hard mode, he's purple. And his outfit's yellow. And he looks obnoxiously weird. Middle-aged, in hard mode. His outfit's brown. And then when he's young, in hard mode, his hair is white. And his eyes are white, too. Which couldn't look any more scary than he actually is. Oh yeah, and after you beat the game in hard mode, you get all the humunculuses, too. <laughs> so, uh, uh, that was all that was getting it on the floor. Thinking, using his head, going crazy. Bitch slap. No, and these little demons, swear to God, I hope they just fall off the face of the earth. And that's the golem. Crow. Rabbit that we never saw. I don't think we ever saw the fish either. Or that fish. Or that fish. Okay, so that's all the character gallery. Because I want to show you a couple stuff, like, still. So my play types, I've only gotten a couple. I got Top Reader, True Friendship is like the brewing of a fine wine. Dog Lover. Here's to being friends with man's best friend. That's quite easy to get. You just beat the game and you're nice to Huey. Fugitive, there's always more than one solution to every problem. That is if you beat the game with ending C, which is after you've beaten the game once, to, uh, to Bilitis, you go back and fight him and he gives you the key, the castle gate key, which I never used, and you're able to leave that time. I'm not going to watch all the cutscenes, 
hell to that, but I want to show you some that I didn't get in the game. 